over 80% of the LEDs that photographers buy for making images are not the clean white color that the makers claim. They may be right on, for instance, at 5500K in their color temperature, but when you mix them with flash that's also at 5500K, the color's lousy. Why? Most LEDs have a green shift and flashes don't. Want excellent color from your LEDs like you're used to with your flash? I'll show you how to do it in seconds, starting now. Most LEDs under $500 have a problem. They have a green shift in their LB values. LB? What's LB? Well, it stands for light balance, and most photographers have no clue about how to fix an LB problem. I can help. Light for photo and video has two components we need to be concerned about. The first one is called color temperature, and the second one is light balance, or LB. Color temp, as it's referred to, is the overall average color of the visible light that the human eye can see measured on a Kelvin scale. Now, the sun sometimes is shining at 5500K, but the sun also has zero LB shift all the time. Here's where LEDs have their troubles. Say you've got one set to 5500K and it's producing light at 5500K, but it's not getting there using equal ounce of red, green, and blue like the sun does and your flash does. LEDs typically use too much green and not enough magenta. How do you know? Well, put your LED in a dark room and set your white balance of your camera to 5500K or whatever color temperature your light claims it is. Then take a photo with a white piece of paper or use a color checker chart, and you'll be able to open it in Photoshop and take the eyedropper tool and measure the RGB values. If they're not within three points of each other, I'll bet you I know which one's highest. That's right, green. Now we can skip this shoot and check Photoshop-y thing because we use color meters and spectrophotometers in Crockett land. Pretty cool, right? Well, when you know your light is green, what do you do? Use magenta gels. How do you find magenta gels? No problem, hop online, Search for one eighth minus green gels, but don't be surprised when you get them and they're not green. They're, in fact, magenta, which is the opposite of green. Whatever. Buy the Roscoe brand or the Lee brand in the 20 by 24 inch size and cut them to shape that you need. They're only eight bucks a sheet and you can buy four or five of them to make all your lights as happy as they can be. Now, if you put a layer of magenta gel on your light and redo that little picture test we told you about with the eyedropper tool, yep, you'll probably find out it's okay. If you find out it's still a little green, put a second layer of magenta gel over your light and redo your RGB test. And if you find out that it's still way too green after the second layer of magenta gel, then you probably bought a really crappy piece of LED eBay stuff that you probably shouldn't have bought in the first place, so you are stuck with it. Didn't anybody ever tell you to buy good photo tools to have good photos? Mm, all right. Okay. If you want, you can learn more every day on discovermirrorless.com about the photo plus video plus audio world of hybrid photography. And from time to time, you get to see me there too. This vlog post is Crockett approved.